Hello and welcome guys to another Memory of Chaos. Um, as you can see, I've already cleared the final stage and I would love to show you how I did it. Um, so this time we have a memory turbulence called Chronicle of the White Knight's Dream Kingdom. Um, what it does, it looks like quite a lot to read. It's very easy though. So whenever um, one of your characters attacks, you apply a debuff to all enemies, makes them receive more damage. And also, uh, when you get six stacks, they basically get dealt some damage. So, uh, quite easy to understand. Not too much uh, you can do there strategy-wise, obviously. You want to attack as much as possible, but that's basically what we always want, right? So, <laughs> anyway. Um, so, here are my team setups. Um, I had to play around the second fight a bit, since I do not really own a, a great quality... Uh, Ice DPS, I guess I want to call it. Um, I do own Yan Cheng, but I always feel that he's kind of he's kind of lackluster, especially when it comes to these um, very, very high difficulty challenges. So instead, I'm trying to play around this issue with my uh, Mono Quantum setup here. So I, I do not really care about the the weakness at all. I just you know you just put Quantum weakness on there and uh, and that's it. So, um, for the first fight, um, I actually went with, ah, oh, yes, with the waifu again. We are using Tingyun, we are using uh, Jingyuan, my my good old uh, lightning duo setup. And then we are also using uh, Hoho as the healer, just for some additional energy regeneration. And we have Ruan Mei in there for some additional break damage and like overall just, you know, just more damage, I guess. Okay, so let's get into the fights. I'm going to be totally honest with you. This one was quite close since uh, the second fight. Aventurin is... Dude, he can be... He can be an asshole. <laughs> he can be an asshole, to be quite frank with you. But yeah, let's, let's try to do this again. So obviously we are going in there, we are immediately using Ting Yun's ultimate. Uh, she's also using the Dance 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 Light Cone, so, you know, using the ultimate with her speeds up all of my characters. Always doing that right at the start. Of course we are buffing up this guy as much as possible. And um, I'm going to wait with this ultimate until we hopefully get uh, Ruin Maze ultimate here. Yep. So, there we go. And now the fun can start. Two hundred K damage? Damn. People are still memeing about Ching Yuan being bad, but dude, he's he's quite good, especially with the new relic set. Okay, what do I do here? Uh Yeah, no need to break this guy right now. Let's wait until Ching Yuan does it. He has more break damage than Ting Yun. Uh also since I do have the Skill points, I'm just doing a little heal right here. That also means that I can use her ultimate now. And that also means I can use Tingyun's ultimate again. Speeds up all the characters, gives him ultimate. Boom, everyone is broken. Uh, let's see, okay, Tingyun gets another move right before Jingyun, so she can just auto-attack. Oh, now he's sped up. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh well. 
It's fine, I guess, though. Like, as long as she can... As long as she can, um... Apply her buff again before the Lightning Lord gets its turn. All is good. Pretty much all of Ching Yuan's uh, damage comes from the follow-up attacks from the Lightning Lord, so... You always have to think about not buffing Jing Yuan, but basically buffing uh, the Lightning Lord, if that makes any sense. <laughs> ora, ora. Uh. Okay, I have an idea of what I want to do since we are all pretty close to getting our ultimates. Let us just do... A basic attack with her. Okay, perfect. So we are doing this. Give him back some energy again. Also get this up. I should have I should have used her ultimate a bit earlier, but it, it's fine. It doesn't really matter too much right now. Still a slight misplay. Uh, yeah, just the ultimate right away. And now, since I see that, um, yeah, she probably doesn't get another turn before the Lightning Lord happens, so I'm going to apply the buff right now. Even though we technically still have one stack left, but. That's just what you want to do here. Okay, so... Gotta do some healing. I'm a really big fan of Hoho's ultimate, by the way. I love energy recharging ultimates. <laughs> it's also why I like Ting Yun so much. And that one also gives you more attack, so... It's great. It's, it's perfect for, for people like Jing Yuan. Um... Who do I focus on? I guess on Kokolia. <laughs> Boom. Big damage. Big damage. Um, do I need to heal again? I don't think so. Okay, reapply her buff. Use her ultimate. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. They're both going to get broken now. <laughs> Ah, uh, yep. This all looks good. When I'm playing this setup, I always have my eyes on the uh, the action order on the left side. So I just know if I have to, like, reapply Ting Yun's buff a little earlier or not. But now I'm pretty used to doing that. Buff now. Oh no, she's frozen. No. Kawaii. 
That was a quick one. Uh, okay. So, you know what? Seeing as how low the bosses are already, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to immediately use her ultimate on Jingyuan. And he's going to use his ultimate immediately as well. I, I was slightly over capping there on energy, which is something you usually don't want to do, but since we are very close to ending this fight, I think it is fine. Yeah. Once the Lightning Lord gets its turn again, I think this is, this is over. Uh, she, she gets one more move, but I doubt that one is going to kill us. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. That was the stage effect, guys. The stage effect killed them off. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, whoa. Four, four, four cycles. Four cycles for a team with mid Juan. Pretty good, right? <laughs> Alrighty, let's get into the second fight. Mono Quantum. Hmm, Hajimari. So we're doing this, and then I guess this. Okay, let's get our quantum weakness on there. I'm going to start with the Ascended. I'm going to try and kill her first, because I know that she uses a skill that lowers my HP, my max HP, basically. And that kind of sucks. I don't like that. I know I'm like super overcapping on skip points right now because of this, but it, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about the skill points. Bam bam, big damage. Uh, do I have one left? No, I do not. I keep, I keep having to to recheck like <laughs> how much turns are left on my uh, my matrix. I keep forgetting. I guess I should have applied that weakness a little bit earlier. That's a lot of damage. So yeah, this guy, Aventurine, dude, he's he's quite hardcore. He's actually a very difficult boss in my opinion. Especially because some of his um, skills are basically very reliant on you just having luck. <laughs> or AoE characters, I guess, but I do not have any AoE characters in this one. So, we just try to work around it somehow. A five. Okay. Lost that one. Unfortunate. But maybe not unfortunate because that gave us a lot of energy. 
which I can turn into a damage and skill points. Mm. Do I need to reapply this? Where is she? Yeah, I need to reapply this. Okay, let's just do... Okay, in that case, let's do a normal attack. Reapply the matrix. Buff up. Big damage, hopefully. Okay, he's broken. Ah, uh, I think I'm going to save up on this skill point here. That looks to be better for the turn order. Because now... Now Sela is getting one turn. Oh shit. Oh, okay, a three? A three? Come on, I can do this. Yeah, okay, okay. Very nice. Yeah, now Sela gets a turn right before Sparkle, so that's that's really cool. Yeah, that's okay. Ultimate? Who's your ultimate? <laughs> and one more buffed up turn right away. Ah, oh, damn. I forgot, I forgot he's uh, going to lose the weakness once he switches phases. That's fine though, hopefully. How's my Matrix looking? Oh, Matrix is not even here. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, so I'm not going to win this with any character. Oh boy, so, let's see. So it's still possible to do this, I just need to... As long as I can somehow manage to break his toughness gauge now, I should be fine. And the best way to do this is when I use the Silver Wolf skill here. Which gives me enough energy for her ultimate. And then we can break him with Sailor's ultimate. Wonderful. And that's... that's it? We did it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah, as you, as you can see, it was pretty close. It was pretty close with HP management there. Um, you basically have to get a little lucky that the right characters get targeted. You know, like, uh, basically the, the squishy characters that I had, uh, Zela and also Silverwolf. Um, if the enemies focused on those two, um, I could have lost there. Because you, you saw how how much HP I had left with Zela in the end. Uh, so this definitely quite the risky setup. But you know what's cool about this? We can just try it as often as we want. You know, as long as it works at some point, <laughs> it's good enough, I guess. But yeah, that's basically how I cleared 
uh, the current cycle of Memory of Chaos, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you take, you know, something out of it. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, to give me a like. I would be really happy about that. Maybe even leave a comment. If not, that's cool too. Dude, I'm happy enough you guys just watched the video. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's it for this week. Um, I guess I'll see you guys back in two weeks for a new Pure Fiction. Uh, have a great week. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.